But each time we make a mistake, we learn something. And if we keep doing it over and over and over again, we don't want to learn anything. We've accepted our, our fate, the way we're going to live. Then we can't feel sorry for ourselves and blame everybody else because we've accepted our life. It's so easy to blame somebody else. It's so easy, you know, not to take res responsibility for what you do. Like I said, you know, now I have nine grandchildren, you know, and I'm very, I'm very proud of them, and you know, and I sure hope, you know, they don't go through the life that I went through, because I remember when I was young. You know, 18, 19, 20, 21. I didn't want to get married. I didn't want to have children because of my life, the way I was treated in the boarding school. The abuse that I felt as a child, someone that's supposed to be innocent, the torture that I felt. People can't understand that, you know. People can't understand, they can't believe it. I've told, I've talked about it many times in many places and they can't believe that human beings can actually do this to other human beings, you know. And it's hard. We have to understand why, we're, why we were created as human beings, you know. If we all shut off the lights and we talk in here, we will never see the differences. When something happens in there, we'll try hard to help each other out. You know, do you hear about these big catastrophes that are happening in the world? Everybody puts down their, their color right away. They become human, trying to help each other. How come, how come we can't do that every day? Maybe some of these things won't happen anymore, you know? <clears throat> Mother Earth is a beautiful place. I travel all over it. I see a lot of things. I, I've learned a lot of things. I've met a lot of people. And here too, I meet a lot of people every time I come here. You know, and I want, I want everybody to be my friend. That's the most important thing. I try hard to joke, laugh, have a good time because I put you in my heart. The greatest gift the Creator ever gave us was a heart. The next greatest gift he gave us was a mind and then a body and finally a spirit to have those feelings. We have to learn how to use those things. From our hearts comes love, kindness, understanding. Our minds, you know, we can make good decisions. We can think things out. And we have to use it to, we can't put too much things in there, otherwise we'll get headaches, we'll get confused, we'll get lost. We have to learn to put, to balance everything in our lives, how we feel, how we think, what we say, what we're doing. And it's really hard to do that. It's really hard to be kind every day, understanding. When the Creator made us, you know, the elders told us, they gave us four laws that we have to live. <clears throat> the first one is faith, to believe in yourself, to believe in each other, to believe in, in a higher power. There is something out there that will help us if we really put our minds to it. And then to be honest, honest with ourselves. <clears throat> because we're the most per important person on Mother Earth, we have to start. Everything has to start with us. We got to believe in ourselves. We got to, you know, be honest with ourselves. We got to be kind to ourselves. Sometimes we're so hard on ourselves. We're our, our worst enemy. You know, sometimes we don't even need enemies. We're so hard on ourselves. We want to be so perfect. We want everybody to look at us in a certain way. And then. Once you get all these faith, honesty, kindness, then you understand your place in life. Then you can start caring for yourself and caring for everybody. And once you start caring, then you start to share what, 
what little you have. You know, our elders used to always tell us a long time ago in our communities, not one family got hungry. If one family got hungry, then the whole community got hungry because they shared everything. Because they knew how important, how important life was. And that's what we have to find. That's what we have to look for. It's a, it is a hard life. It is hard. Today I live alone. I live in Winnipeg. And I've decided I, I want to help. You know, because that's what I was put here for, to be a helper. You know, a lot of times I go to places and they've called, they've called me an elder. And I tell them, I'm not an elder, I'm just a helper. All I want to do is help the best way that I can. And this is what each one of us are. You know, we're, we were put here to help each other, to work together. And so we have to do that, you know. <clears throat> in, in the teachings that we got, you know, the, there's many stories, many, many things that come with the teachings that we do, why we have these things, why we have the drum, you know, why we have a pipe, why we use the tobacco. Everything has a teaching, and we have to understand that. We've got to learn that. If we don't know it, then we have to go out and learn about it. We can't always take other people's words because sometimes people are not truthful. They just guess. Many times I've told people, you know, they ask me what, what it is they have to do. I said, well, you'll have to go and speak to an elder or somebody because I don't know. All I know is I've got to try and help myself. I've got to try and understand myself. I've got to try and know where I fit in society. And so this is what we have to do as, as human beings. You know, sure, I'm a, I'm a Nishnabe person, I'm a Dakota person, you know, because I have ancestors that come from, from those tribes. But today I live in a society where, you know, everybody's a human being created by one creator, and that's who I am. I'm a human being too. So I try and do my part. And the most important thing that we have to have to is an open mind. If we open our minds, you know, we can learn so much out there. If we open our hearts, we can feel everything. You know, we let our spirits out. We know how to protect ourselves from those negative, negative things out there. We know what to do, when to say things. And that's, that's important. We have to have that. The Creator gave us two hands. My, my, my 